Good evening, darlings. So, my good friend Nalitha Twink asks, um, We've heard that you like bees. What about wasps and hornets and yellow jackets? Do they get your love or no? Well, thank you for the question, darling. You know, of course, they are related. They're all in the same family, Hymenoptera. So, um, so I do see what you're doing here. Don't think that, that I missed that. Um, and, and it's true that I don't have the same sort of passion about, um, about Vespidae that I have about um, sort of honeybees or, or even, um, even, even the, the solitary bees. But um, I think a lot of that has to do with sort of um, the history between my people and, and, and many other civilizations as well, um, with, with particularly with honeybees. And, you know, I do, um, I do respect other Hymenoptera, um, including ants, I think that they're absolutely fascinating. But even non-colonizing Hymenoptera, uh, I do, I do like them. I just, I, I think all living things have have a place and a purpose in this world. So I'm, I'm, I don't hate them by any means. Um, I'm sort of not going to seek them out and try to pet them um, because you know their personality is just, just, it, it's not a smart idea to try to pet a wasp. Um, whereas a honeybee usually will, will let you do it without any problem as long as you don't seem like you're going to, to harm it or its colony. So, um, you know, I, I think it's important to note, um, if, if you're not sure what's sort of buzzing around you, um, the easiest way to tell, because they all are all related, um, and so the body structures tend to be very similar, um, but look for if it's fuzzy, and if it's fuzzy, it's probably, although there are um, exceptions, of course, um, if it's fuzzy, it's almost certainly um, going to be a bee, and if it's not, it's almost certainly um, going to be a wasp or, or something of that nature, although, um, you know, there are many solitary bees that, that have very little um, hair, that you can see, um, at least with the naked eye, unless you're all an elf, in which case it's no problem. Um, but I would just say, um, just of course, always be respectful of anything that's living. I, I, I do, um, you know, I, I think that, that wasps and hornets, although sometimes they do things like in, invade and parasitize um, the homes or, or bodies of, of other Hymenoptera, I, I think there's, um, you know, there's, there's a reason for all of these things in the world. And I, I would not want any of them to just sort of pop out of existence or something like that, darling. You know, I, I respect them. I just sort of, um, you know, keep more distance than with their cousins, let's say. So I hope that that answers um, your question, darling. And thank you so much. You know, I do love your entomology questions. Um, and have a good night. Ta-ta.